My name is Chad Adams. I work with Skelton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is our third video in our series on text parsing. Now that we've looked at right and left, let's take a look at the middle function and see how it differs. Um, for one thing, we have to feed it a little bit more information. We start with middle, I'll give it my text block, and now instead of just giving it the number of characters, I've got to tell it where to start. Okay, we're going to start at one and say the number of characters to be three. And formatted like this, this would give me the exact same result as left three, um, but let's take a look. So I got the J-O-H coming right off the top here, starting at the first character, that's where my one is, giving me three characters, J-O-H. Now let's look at that, rotate through. If I change this over to starting at the second character, we'll see this change to O-H-N, because I start at number two, and it gives me the three characters after I get to number two. I can look at that at number three. I get O N in the space. And if I do number four, I'll see the space and the William. Okay, so middle is working almost like right and left, except I'm giving it this new piece of information. I'm giving it where do I want to start in my block text? What character do I want to start with? Okay, so let's take a look at middle words. Middle words is going to be very similar to that. Only instead of my starting character, now I give it a starting word and I tell it the number of words. So we'll do this again. Number starting word one, number of words two. And I'll see John William, my first two words there. Again, the delimiters here are going to be the same as they are for right and left. If I start with word two, I'll see William Doe. And if I start with word three, I'll get Doe Jane. Okay, so middle words behaving a lot like left words and right words. I just have to tell it this new piece of information about where do I want to start. And then middle values, text, starting value, again we'll start with one, number of values, one. We'll return this whole line because my delimiter here again is the carriage return. If I ask it for two, it'll give me John and Jane. If I change this to start with value two instead of starting with value one, then I should see Jane and Sam. There we go. Again, like right and left, middle values gives me this carriage return on the end. Um, the values function is the one that does that. 